So hey guys, I'm showing you guys how to do my thick faux locks and I just had sections about this big so it's up to you how big you want your sections but I would suggest doing them kind of small, I mean not small, kind of big if you want the thick look or it'll be too heavy. Then I'm going to cut those, <laughs> I'm going to cut those in half. So after I've cut those in half, I'm going to take five of those six pieces, one, two, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> and I'm gonna use those as my base for the faux locks to give it its thickness. I'm pulling them at different lengths so that they don't end at the same point. And then I'm just going to put them on my hair like so. And then you're just gonna begin wrapping around the Marley hair as well as your natural hair. And you could do this like three to five times. Um, don't do it too many times or they might be a little bit too tight and you don't want really tight faux locks. Even though I'm, I'm doing the most right now. <laughs> All right, so after you do that, I'm just gonna take a full length, two pieces of full length Marley hair. And since I'm mixing this one or ombreing this one, I'm using the blonde with it, but you don't have to. You could use two of the same color, but just use two full length Marley hairs. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna just leave like an inch or so, and then just begin wrapping around the base of everything. That's basically just securing the faux lock, I guess. Then after wrapping like three to five times again, you could actually just start using the Marley hair to wrap around the excessive pieces of Marley hair and your natural hair. So, you know, just watch me as I, as I go. Um, and I don't like to do it too tight, but you don't want to do it too loose either because then it, it'll unravel. So do it a little bit taut, but you guys know, usually I like my faux locks a little bit like not messy, but I don't like the super perfect look. So like sometimes I'll do it tight, sometimes I'll loosen up my grip a little bit. But yeah, just follow that all the way down. And when you get to this point, just add one piece of Marley hair because obviously I'm running out of hair to wrap. So I'm just gonna add one piece of Marley hair like this. I guess this is just better to watch, so just watch, I'll shut up. <laughs> Now just keep wrapping. It does look a little bit thinner than the rest of the dread, but it's okay because we're gonna go back and add some more hair for that. That doesn't always happen, but sometimes it happens depending on how thin that Marley strand is. So it's okay, I'll show you guys how to do that. But just keep wrapping until that piece is done. But when you get to this point, um, just wrap the Marley hair around itself and then it'll stay. But when you get to the bottom of the faux lock, start wrapping that section back up against the dread. So that'll secure the last piece that you just put on the dread. <laughs> That's my best friend, Michelle. <laughs> um, and then just keep wrapping that up all the way. So the cool thing about Marley hair is if you do it taut enough and you you wrap it around tight enough, it will hold itself together. As far as the piece that's sticking up right there, that will be handled. Um, but I did go ahead and add another half piece of Marley hair just because that section was way thinner than the rest of the dread and I was like, oh no girl, that's not about to happen. So that's why I'm adding this piece right here. But you don't have to. That doesn't always happen, but it just so happened that the piece that I'm trying to show you guys looks like that. So once you get all your Marley hair wrapped, just use fire 
or fire, use fire, use a lighter to <laughs> burn everything into place. Um, but don't do it too much or it'll give it like that burn, you know, like crispy look at the end of box braids that we used to do. But just enough just to seal the full lock. And a shaboom, that is literally it. This is how I do my chunky faux locks. Deuces!